In one of the biggest games of the season, the Spurs picked up the win against the back-to-back -back defending NBA champions, the Golden State Warriors. The final from the AT&T Center tonight, it's 111 to 105. The Spurs with a six-point victory. And the big thing tonight was defense down the stretch. The Spurs got the stops when they needed to against one of the best offensive teams in NBA history, really, as the Golden State Warriors have really willed their way to championships based off of their offense offensive talent but down the stretch the Spurs got stops made great defensive rotations and were really playing Spurs defense Spurs basketball getting good high percentage shots in half court sets and that really willed them to tonight's victory one of the interesting things I noticed while looking at the box score was that both teams shot 41 of 88 from the field this evening and the Spurs actually did not win the three-point battle as the they shot a higher percentage but the Warriors hit 13, so when both teams make the amount of, same amount of field goals and the other team hits more threes, you think, okay, where's the difference? And tonight it was the field free throws. The Spurs got to the line 22 times, hit 19 of those free throws. The Warriors went 10 of 12 from the free throw line, and that was the big difference in the ball game tonight as well as that's been a big key to the rest of the season for the Spurs, getting to the free throw line and beating the opponent from the charity stripe as the Spurs do a good job of also playing defense without fouling. Uh, just trademark Spurs defense right there. And uh, that's been really big for the Spurs all season long. And last but not least, big games from the Stars as – uh, DeMar DeRozan had 26 points. LaMarcus Aldridge had 23 points. Rudy Gay, who uh, is coming back from injury, had 17 points off of the bench. Uh, Patty Mills added double-figure scoring, as well as Derek White, who continues his stellar play in his sophomore season in the NBA. Uh, All-around really good game for the Spurs, not to mention Marco Bellinelli, who just missed that double digits club with nine points and hit some big threes for the Spurs, including a big and one three-point play. The Spurs will come back again here to the AT&T Center as they host the Miami Heat Wednesday. Dwayne Wade's final game of the AT&T Center, so make sure you don't miss that. The Spurs overall improve to 42 and 29 on the season. The Warriors fall to 47 and 22. The Spurs find their way into the fifth spot in the West, which a few weeks ago seems kind of bleak that the Spurs would maybe get around the 7 or 8 seed, and all of a sudden they're contending for home court advantage in the playoffs. So stay tuned. It will be a fun race down the stretch here in the NBA Western Conference. I'm Carl Schoening. This has been Spurs Watch. Once again, the Spurs pick up the victory, 111-105 over the Golden State Warriors. We'll see you next time.